Welcome. My name is Gregory Clark. I'm a customer success strategic advisor. In this video, you will learn about connecting Salesforce to Tableau. There are several reasons why a business would want to connect Salesforce to Tableau. First, let's talk through what these connectors do and the reasons behind why we use them. Finally, I'll show you how to connect these two systems. Before we get started building this flow, First, what are these connectors and when would you use them? A connector is a piece of software that provides communication to a system. In this video, we're using connectors to one, connect to Salesforce and two, to connect to Tableau. So as you can see in this diagram, in step one, near the top of the screen, we have a get lead data Salesforce connector. And in step two, near the bottom of the screen, we have an add to leads data source connector. When would you use them? In this video, we're using them to synchronize data between Salesforce and Tableau. You'll also hear me talk about flows. That's because once these systems are connected, data in Salesforce will flow to data in Tableau through these connectors. Another question you might have is why? In what situations might you need to connect these systems? A very common business reason for connecting these two systems is to run more efficiently. Rather than performing a manual, time-consuming synchronization of data by keying data into Tableau from Salesforce, let's connect these systems and have the data flow through the MuleSoft Composer. Now that we've covered the what and the why, Let's take a look at how we're going to build this scenario of connecting Salesforce leads data to Tableau. Now, let's get started with how to connect these two systems. I'm already logged into my Salesforce environment and I've navigated to the MuleSoft Composer home screen. From the home screen, we're gonna click on, in the upper right, create new flow. We're presented with the flow details screen. We wanna give our flow a name. So we're going to click up here on the pencil where it says Untitled Flow, and we're going to name this flow and we're going to save it. You're going to add a connection. So I'm going to click on Add New Connection. I'm going to select Salesforce because we want to connect to Salesforce. So my connection name, I'm going to name it my Salesforce org. You can give it any name you like. I'm going to click on connect. And you can see from here now I'm being prompted to log into my Salesforce instance from which I want to extract the leads data from. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. The MuleSoft platform needs to be able to be uh, allowed access to perform this. So we're going to click on allow. And I'm given to my first trigger. Uh, to instantiate a flow, the first thing you have to do is, is provide it the trigger step. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rename the trigger step. I'm going to click on the pencil and I'm going to select a name for this trigger. In this trigger, I'm going to call Now, <clears throat> I want to start this flow when I select this box, I want to start this flow every time I create a new record, a new sales lead. So my object type is lead. And this is type ahead. So if you just type in lead, you'll be given the Salesforce object lead to select. Okay, so now it's testing the connection and it's returning me all the fields that are part of this object type lead. So what I want to do is I need to select the fields that I want to extract from Salesforce as part of this flow and populate over in Tableau. So I'm going to click on select fields and there are eight fields I want to select for this video training. I want to select company, country, email, and I'm going to scroll down, industry, first name, last name, lead source. And the last one I want to select is phone. So that should give me a total of eight fields. I'm going to click on add. You can see I have eight selected and you can see 
in my card, in my trigger card here on the right under sample output, I can actually see samples of the data that I've selected. So before we move forward, I'm just going to click on save to save my work. And now that I have the trigger event with the fields, I want to connect to Tableau and map the fields from my Salesforce object to my Tableau table. So to do this next step, I'm just going to click on the plus sign to add a step. And in this case, I want to add a new connection. I'm going to click on add new connection and I'm going to select Tableau. Now I have to give it a connection name. You can give it any name you want. So I'm going to name this Tableau Leads Data. And I have to provide it a server URL. So the server URL I'm providing is to my online Tableau instance. The further connection information that's required is a personal access token. This is an access token that you create within your Tableau online instance. Uh, I already have one created. Mine is my GC MuleSoft Composer token. And I'm going to paste in my personal access secret, which is tied to that token. The site is also part of your Tableau URL instance. And for my site, my site name is MuleSoft Connectivity. So that's the Tableau online instance name that I have access to is called MuleSoft Connectivity. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Create. And as you can see, I'm, I'm told that my Tableau Leads connection has been created. So MuleSoft Composer in the background has already created and tested my target connection to Tableau. So now to finish this second step, first thing I want to do is I want to give it a step name. So for my step name, I am going to call it Add to Leads. And I'm going to save it. The action that I want to take in that field is I want to add to an existing data source. So in Tableau, I've already created what's called a leads table. So I already have my target table defined and set up in Tableau so that every time I add a new record in Salesforce, it will trigger this flow, which will continue to update that leads data table in Tableau. This data table sits in a project workspace in Tableau, and my project workspace is default. And the data source, if I just start typing ahead, is leads. That's the name of my worksheet inside Tableau. So right now, Composer is, is connecting to that leads data structure over in Tableau. And as you can see here, as I scroll down, it pulled back the data source structure as it is in Tableau. And so now what I need to do is I need to map my Salesforce fields, those eight fields I selected earlier, to these data source structures in Tableau. And you do that just by clicking in each of these boxes, as I'll do here. So lead source, you can see I'm prompted with all my sales lead data that I selected in step one above. So I want to map lead source to lead source, phone, to phone, country, country, first name, first name, email, to email, industry, to industry, last name, to last name, and finally company, to company. And once I'm done, I'm gonna click on save. And as you can see here in my window, it says it's saved just now. So now I am ready to test this flow. And the way that I'll test this is I need to click on the test button here and you can see it's saving the flow. It's waiting for the test to start. Now, when the test starts, you're going to see I'm going to have five minutes in which to run this test. It's waiting for a trigger event. So what that means is now I need to log into my, my Salesforce environment, which I'm logged into right here, and I am going to create a new lead. So within this Salesforce environment, I am in my leads application. You can see all my open leads and I'm just gonna select new. And from here in new, I am just gonna fill out that it's a new lead status. 
my first name is going to be James. My last name is going to be Smith. Let's give it a phone number. Let's provide an email. Let's provide my company. In this case, I'll call my company Salesforce. And I'll scroll down. We need a country. So the country I will provide is United States. My lead source, we'll make that um, the web. And for an industry, let's choose communications. So that is all the fields that I'm required to fill out to create a new lead. I'm gonna click on save. And as you can see, I successfully created the lead, James Smith. So now with that lead successfully created, if I switch windows and come back to my, my composer window, so we'll come back here to my composer window and I'll scroll up and as you can see, uh, next to my test output, everything is moving. Um, when this event finishes, we should see green check marks here. As you can see, success, the test has just finished. I got the green box. I have the two green check marks next to both of my steps in MuleSoft Composer. So this is how you know that your test ran successfully. As a final step, what I'd like to do is I'm going to navigate over to my leads workbook in Tableau. And this is, as you can see, this is my leads workbook up here in the upper right. I'm in my default project space. If I refresh this data as I just did, you can see right here on line two, my, my data just came in. Here's James Smith with my email, the phone number, the company, the industry, the country, and the lead source all has been refreshed and added to my leads data source in Tableau. Thank you. To recap, in this flow, you synchronize sales lead data from Salesforce to Tableau. In this example, you used out-of-the-box connectors to connect to both Salesforce and Tableau. If your use case uses a different system, you can still use these same exact guidelines to get started. Thank you for watching this video. And